the art of negotiation, whenever you're making a deal, first thing I want you to take into consideration as you're making a deal, that you always want to negotiate high. The reason why you do this is because most deals, when you negotiate with people, they always try to talk you down. So if you want a thousand, you tell them you want ten thousand. So if they talk you down to five thousand, you're getting four thousand more than you initially would negotiate for. So that gives you a bumper, that gives you leverage, because now you can afford to be talked down, you can afford to be negotiated because you're negotiating at a higher uh, price point than what you initially wanted, which is very clever and very intelligent. And most people who negotiate knows this. You know, another thing you got to remember in the negotiation process is that you got to always know what you want. You got to understand your value. You got to understand who you are as an artist or who you are as a businessman, whether it's real estate, whether it's uh, any form of business, music, what have you. You just want to make sure that you understand the value and every detail of what you got going on. That's very essential because they're going to ask you a thousand one questions. So one of the keys to negotiation is understanding your craft and understanding you know, what you want and understanding what you're trying to negotiate. That gives the person on the other side comfortability because now they know that you got skin in the game and you're not just talking. You know, So knowledge is power when you're negotiating. Another thing that you want to consider when you negotiate any deal is don't just look at the compensation, man. Don't look at the million dollars because the million dollars is the throw off. You know what I'm saying? That's the bait. That's what gets you locked in. So most artists, when they negotiate contracts, they look at compensation, but they don't look at obligation. They don't look at breach, you know, and all these other things and these other beautiful things that you got to look at. International rights. You got to remember everyone who signed a contract back in the early 80s and 90s and early 2000s, they never considered Facebook. They never considered IG. They never considered Snap uh, Chat. They never considered NFTs. You know, they never considered NFCs. They never considered the metaverse. So a lot of those record labels was on the upside of those situations because they said future this, future that, future this, future that. And you just looked at the million dollars and you signed, which is bad. And oh, one more thing. Never sign a contract without a lawyer present. Even after you do all the negotiation, have a, a lawyer or somebody that's legally astute to look over the contract. That way you protect yourself. And that way you don't miss all these words, you know, hints and, you know, revert. It's a lot of words that they use that got a lot to do with uh, what they call legal lead or Jewish students. And that's where you're going to get caught up at. And in relationships, men and women, Whenever you negotiate to be with somebody in a relationship, always be patient. What I mean by that is do not have sex on the first date or the third or the fourth or the fifth or maybe that week. The longer you wait, the better negotiation you're going to have in terms of being with that person. Because if you have sex with a woman or you have sex with a man haphazardly or sporadically, what happens is you create a concept in that person's head that you're easy to get and that anybody can have you. Most women like to deal with men that are hard to get because that's a red flag for them. You know, if you're sleeping with other women, if you get in the bed with them real easy. And then women, most men will not respect you no matter what they say because at the time they're speaking with their little head and not their big head. The little head is the penis. And they're going to try to get with you. They're going to get in those panties. But once they get in those panties, they're not going to respect you. And guys, I don't care how much a woman like you, if you sleep with her on the first date, she's going to think that's a part of your character. So do not, you know, uh, insult your own character by doing dumb stuff like that. The best part to negotiating with a woman to be your woman or to be your wife is to give her at least 30 days. After 30 days, both of y'all should be desperate. But it'd be a good desperate because y'all have respect and y'all like one another. And that's the key thing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy, Pep the Kid. Man, I want y'all to go get my new book, The 48 Laws of the Game, Pepology, man. This is the book that everybody is reading. They love it in the prisons and selling all over the world. Everything that your father, your uncle didn't teach you, this book will. This will give you a whole lot of game. And it's for men and women.
And if you want to be a winner, go get my other book, The Art of Human Chess. It's his bestseller. Both of my books are bestsellers. And if you want to get the book, just go to thehiphopfraternity.com. Go to the link, books, and hit the word, hit book. If that don't work for you, go to amazon.com. If that don't work, go to audible.com. Type in my name, Pippa Ken. I guarantee you that the book will pop up. And just order the book. We got the audio book. We got the hardcover. We got the paperback. Anything you need, just go to any one of those platforms. Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, and get the book. Nigga, we lookin' like weapons. For where you from, what you rapping? You really want place to flex it. We come with them drums out the infant. Your bitch, tell them I can't hip it. Got me shine on my right and my left hand. I'm whipping it up like I'm chefing. Oh.